of everything Overpass has to offer. And while doing so, learn how to successfully pass the obstacles and rough terrain. Now, drive out. Follow the path and the instructions as they appear. First, familiarize yourself with the basic driving controls. Overpass is not all about speed. Many times you'll need to slow down, so don't be afraid to use the brake. You also have a handbrake at your disposal. Apart from reducing your speed, you can perform power slides by using the handbrake while turning sharply. If your vehicle ends up on its side or you get stuck, use Respawn to get back on track. Ribbons, flags, and signs help mark out the intended path. Follow them and you'll not get lost. Tearing down a ribbon results in a time penalty. Your vehicle gets damaged when you collide with obstacles, but the vehicle will not be affected by sustained damage in this tutorial. Different ground surfaces will affect the traction of the wheels. You'll have less grip while on mud and sand compared with dirt and rock. Now, let's try driving over mud. It'll be harder to accelerate and turn. Hitting one will result in a time penalty. It's good to be aware of the ground you're driving on. Climbing this slope will be easier if you avoid the muddy areas. Having the right speed when traversing obstacles is crucial. Drive slowly enough to avoid overloading the suspension and maybe even damaging the vehicle. Pass the obstacles between the red flags marking the point of entry. Failing to pass correctly will result in a time penalty.
a seesaw. Drive up onto it, stop, and let it flip over, and then drive off. Jumping off a seesaw results in a time penalty. When driving over small obstacles like rocks, a good technique to avoid getting stuck on your belly is to place the wheels onto the rocks instead of between them. off-road driving is to enter one wheel at a time. Try it out by driving over these pipes at a slight angle instead of straight on. In this hill climb, you'll learn a useful tool in driving technique for climbing steep slopes. The differential lock is a great tool when you're stuck and slipping. With an open differential, if one tire loses traction, the power transfers to the tire that is spinning. That doesn't help much when the spinning tire is in the air. With a locked differential, if a tire loses traction, the other tires can still pull. The downside to a lock differential is that it gives poor turning radius. Enable the differential lock now. steering control, remember to disable the differential lock when you don't need it. the wheels to spin on the spot. On this slope, less throttle will give you more grip and therefore more forward momentum.
and find multiple paths over the terrain. For this last part of the hill climb, it's up to you to find your way up. Now you can try driving an ATV. Driving an ATV is a bit different. You can use your rider as a counterweight to help keep the vehicle upright. Leaning toward the slope will prevent you from sliding down or falling over. downhill has its risk too, so remember to control your speed. Good job! Here you are free to drive around and practice. Whenever you're ready to face the real challenges, find and cross the finish line.